Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to a new video here on the channel. So in today's video we're doing the part 3 of our Wix SEO tutorial. Uh, so in today's video we are looking at how we can do our redirects on Wix. So if you don't know what redirects are, essentially what we're doing is changing where users are going when they're going on an actual URL and then sending them to the actual correct URL. So if you're changing your URL slugs on your pages, you want to make sure that when people are going to that old URL that they are sent to the new updated URL and don't land on a 404 page because it's just bad for user experience. And also just to make sure that search engines such as Google will see that redirect as well and see the new version of that page in case a crawler, for example, uh, lands on that old URL that you have. You might be asking, how do people find these old URLs? It could be because they're indexed in Google. It can also be because other people are linking to your old URL or because you have posted on it on social media before. So there might be various different reasons why people fa uh, find this specific URL and that's why URLs are important. And uh, now with that being said, let me just go off the screen. Uh, I'm doing this a bit different than I usually do, similarly to what we did in the past video as well. Uh, so let me just go off screen like that. Essentially what we want to do is just make sure we log into our Wix dashboard. As you can see right here, we have our coffee shop example that we had in our old video as well. What we want to go to is click on marketing and SEO and then we have SEO tools right here. So just go ahead and click right there. Once you're on this page, you can see that we have a bunch of different options and we'll walk these through in different videos. So sitemaps, we'll walk through that. Robots.txt, we'll walk through that. SEO patterns, site verification, and then we have URL redirect manager, which is where we want to go in today's video. Once we are on this page, we can see that we currently don't have any redirects on our website as for now, but this is where you're going to make your redirects. So what you can do here is either you can create a new direct directly. So what you do is just click on create a new redirect. In here, you have the option of creating a single redirect or a group redirect. Doing a single redirect, this is very simple. All you do is just enter the URL slug as in the example. If the old URL slug was slash about us, you would then just type it in here and then you would type the new URL right here. So if we click here, we also show up some examples of existing pages that we have on our website. So let's say, for example, we changed buy coffee, for example, and our old one was slash coffee. Now, if we want to make this redirect, all we have to do is just click on save and that would implement directly and the redirect would go live on the website. So whenever a user would land on your website, www dot whatever business name you have, dot com slash coffee, they would be redirected to this new URL slug. Now you also have the option of doing group redirects as well. So you can do based on path. So in this example, we have slash form slash questions in the example right here. But if you change your URL path to, for example, slash form slash FAQs, you would do the same thing as with a single redirect. You would just implement it right here. And that way you would change the path to all of those URLs which are under uh, the same path essentially. So that is the basics of actually doing your redirects. Now, if you have a bunch of different pages, you want to make sure you do this in bulk because this is going to take you a long time to redirect if you have a bunch of redirects to implement. So what you can do is go to more actions here at the top and then you can do import redirects. Right here, you have the option to either upload your CSV file directly, or you can download the template, which I've done already. This template will give you essentially all the information you need uh, on how to do these redirects yourself. So what I've done is open this up in Google Sheets. In here, you can see old URL, new URL. Then you have the URL slugs of your old URLs, which you can paste in here. So if you have, for example, hundreds of redirects you want to do, this is going to be the most efficient way. So what you do is just post in or paste in all the old redirects in here. Then you would paste all the new redirects here and the corresponding new URL to the right. And then you would have the old URL on the, on the left right here. So about us would be, or about would go to about us. Contact, for example, would go to contact us. Info would just go to the homepage. And that is essentially what you would then download directly and then upload CSV file right here. And then all of those redirects would be implemented in bulk. Now I'm just gonna cover some general ideas on how you should handle your redirects. 
So if you are redirecting old URLs, let's say you have a page which was talking about how to make cookies, for example. If you decide to redirect that specific page to a page which is talking about how to do how to build a computer or how to do marketing, that would not make sense. So you want to make sure that your redirects are relevant to where you're redirecting the URL to. If you had a page which was talking about, as in this example, about us before, but you just changed it to about us from about, that makes sense because both of those pages are essentially the same or contain a similar content which used to be on the old URL. What you don't want to do is just redirect pages that used to cover a different topic to a whole new topic because essentially what that would do is just send wrong signals to Google when they're looking through these old URLs or if a user is just clicking on that old URL and they're expecting that cookie recipe but they end up on a guide on how to do marketing, it wouldn't make sense. So you wanna make sure that there always is relevance be behind your redirects that you're implementing. And that is gonna be super important, not only for the user experience, but also for search engines when they're crawling through these old URLs. Now that is essentially how you do redirects on Wix. Hopefully this was a helpful tutorial. If it was, please make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this one. I do recommend you to watch my whole series on Wix SEO if you want to learn more about Wix SEO. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.